Hello tipsters and tricksters, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Vintage Tips and Tricks video. If you're new to my channel, my name is B. I'm a vintage glamour enthusiast and musician. I make vintage beauty and style videos with a little bit of sustainability, veganism and lifestyle thrown in for good measure. So if that sounds like your jam, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know my videos come out. I haven't done a vintage haul video in a really long time. I've made some closet clear out videos and there will be more of those coming, but yeah, I haven't done a vintage haul for ages and I have actually picked up some vintage over the last few months. I've added to my autumn winter wardrobe, particularly sweaters, cause this girl loves a sweater girl look. So yeah, I thought I'd share that with you today. So I won't blather on any further. Let's get into it. What have you got? recorded for one minute and my battery is already dying on my camera so that's fun I definitely moved the camera so sorry guys <laughs> I really should have just changed the battery beforehand but it told me it had so much battery youtuber life let's get into the first piece I'm just gonna jump straight into it uh, I ordered this little number off of eBay it is a I think early 60s cardigan I'll bring it up close it's got these cute little embroidered make sure it doesn't look at my face little embroidered roses all over it in cream and blue and pink it is a longer one uh, which is not my preference but is kind of good for warm weather because it actually keeps your you know lower organs warm but I do prefer a cropped sweater but I tend to just tie it up actually and it does have like the really kind of typical popped collar like this high stiff knitted collar that you can sit upright which makes it look really 1950s so yeah, that's a cute one. She is missing a button at the bottom, so I will have to, I'm gonna replace all the buttons, I think. I'm gonna look for some cute ones, some cute vintage ones, and pop a whole new set of buttons, probably that uh, go with the roses, maybe color match that or something, or maybe even just go for green buttons to match the leaves. I don't know, we shall see. Maybe I'll do a little vote on Instagram for that, and you guys can help me choose the buttons. But yeah, that was my first purchase. That was someone's mum's jumper that I got off of eBay, so just, that was really cute. I just tend to wear this with jeans or capris, just tied up around the waist, over the top of something like this, like a little singlet top. Just think it's really cute. It's great for just like hanging out at home or, you know, going out for coffee with friends or whatever. Just really casual. I really like the sweater girl 1950s look for just everyday comfy vintage wear because you can actually be comfortable in it as opposed to looking fabulous but feeling, you know, like you have to have a stick up your bum the whole day. So the next piece, actually the next three pieces, two, the next three pieces are from Scarlet Rage Vintage. She had a fabulous selection of sweaters in the studio when I went over to hang with her and I just couldn't say no. So the first one is this. You've probably seen all three of these on me already in videos and on Instagram, but it's a little short sleeved sweater with kind of like a, a mohair kind of finish. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like fuzzy and it's got little like lace detail around the neckline and I liked it because it's a v-neck it doesn't have a collar so it's different to my other pieces which is great and it's got the little ribbed waist that nips it in super cute and quite fuzzy and warm like this one is quite hot um I wonder if it says it's angora that's why so yeah it is quite warm to wear this one it does have the vintage label very cute so yeah that one I wear with like high-waisted skirts, a capris. So yeah, and once again, my go-to kind of look for this chilly weather. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I'm quite a hot-bodied person, hot-blooded person. So I need something like this when the temperature drops around the house, but also underneath I tend to wear singlet tops because when the heating is on, I overheat very, very quickly. Like other people are inside wearing sweaters and big woolly socks, and I'm here in, you know, my singlet top and a pair of pants with socks on. So. Yeah, I need things like this that I can get off quickly if your girl overheats. The next one is sort of, uh, I don't know, it's like a, I guess a lemon yellow. It's got a slightly more of a touch of green to it. Like it's erring towards chartreuse, but it's not chartreuse, it is yellow, but really cute. This is such a classic 50s piece for me. Like it's got the little popped collar with ribbing, so it's quite stiff and you can get it to sit correctly for the era. Little pearlescent buttons, super cute. 
little ribbed waist to nip her in and little ribbed short sleeves. This one is cotton, so it's not super duper warm. It is breathable, so it's a nice like transitional piece. And again, I mean, oof, and this one I pulled out of the wash to show you guys it needs cleaning, but <laughs> I would literally wear these every day, so they all need to be washed, but yeah. I just think this piece is really, really cute. I'm sure you'll see in the cutaway how I style it, but absolutely love, love, love. This is probably my favorite sweater out of all of them. It's just so special. Again, I think this is an Angora blend. She is very soft and fluffy and so hairy. I literally wore this yesterday. Yeah, very, very cute. Come here. Again, no collar, which I think is really nice because you can wear it with something that has a collar underneath if you want to, or just chuck it on as a top on its own, which I often do. This one is very snug on me, so I do wear it as a top on its own. Uh, otherwise, I just find it's just too much, like it's all clingy under my armpits, you know. So coming close because it does have the most darling leaf detail on it. Hopefully you guys can see. How pretty is that? And the buttons actually come right up the neck, so you don't actually do all of them up. It's like a detail, the actual buttonholes and the buttons are a detail. So yes, that is very, very cute. Just a plain back on her as well. And this one is super cropped. So I wear her with my really high-waisted pants and skirts, because otherwise my, my belly shows. The last two pieces that I'm gonna show you guys, it's not a huge haul, but just a few things that I picked up. The last two pieces I literally picked up yesterday, and that was in an anti Antique store in Lewis. I did get a request from my patrons to make a video of me out shopping and thrifting and how it is that I spot vintage garments. Like when I'm looking at the garments in the store, how do I recognize that they are vintage? I've made other videos that kind of break this stuff down, but I've not done it kind of when I've been out to show you this particular piece. It was these elements that made me recognize it as being from this era or that era. So that video will be on my Patreon this month. So if you guys are interested, go and check that out. And for my patrons who are already signed up, it's coming. So I go into some pieces that were at the store that I didn't buy, but these are two pieces that I did actually pick up. One is this very cute, it said 1950s in the store, but just because of the cut through the hips and everything, it is more of an early 60s style. It's very Mad Men uh, and the high neckline that comes across like that, almost boat-like with these really, really cute little buttons on each of the shoulders. And as you see the pattern, it's definitely got 60s vibes, uh, early 60s vibes to it, this pattern. The back of it is really cute, has a little V back and a side zipper, metal side zipper. It's got darting in the bust and everything just to sit really nicely and give you that pointy boobed effect. Yeah, really, really cute. I love this. Um, I did wonder whether it would be too big for me in the bust, but actually it is quite a nice fit for me. So I will hang on to this one, uh, even though I was wondering whether or not I would pick it up to resell because this is a store where I can't try stuff on. It's an antique store that sometimes has clothing. So I just pick pieces up there and then if they don't fit me, they get moved along to somebody else. But this one does fit. She is super lightweight cotton. So I would layer her for this season uh, with you know, stockings and a slip or something underneath to keep myself warm and a jacket or a cardigan over her. She would look cute with one of the cardigans on probably. So yeah, definitely a layer piece, but I could also wear her in summertime on a day that's not too hot because obviously she is close fitting. So yeah, a nice versatile piece, but very autumn winter colors, which I love. Now this last piece is really special. I spotted her at this antique store and She's in such good condition that I actually questioned for a second whether or not she was something that was made more recently, but she's not. I definitely had a good look over her and she is a true 1950s piece from here in the UK. And it is this amazing tartan 1950s suit with this, it's not sky blue. What kind of blue would you call that? Uh, I'll pop it on the screen. I can't think of the name of it right now. But yes, it is a woolen suit with a tartan skirt and it is from Scotland. So it is Paisley's Limited Glasgow. Here's the label, if you guys can see it. Get my head out of the way. Absolutely beautiful. She does fit me, but I can't function in her. I can't cross my arms. Yeah, with the jacket on, I can't really move, even though she fits nicely. It needs to be on someone slightly smaller than me. So I will actually be selling this one on my um, Instagram shop. So if you guys love this, and I'll finish showing you some other details on her that are pretty special, uh, this one is up for grabs. So what I wanna show you is she's a proper kilt. She has like the leather buckles and everything on her. So you can adjust her to a different hip size and wear her bigger or smaller. She is completely lined. 
very, very, very warm. She is all lined inside, so you're very warm through the hips, and also it doesn't look bulky if you're wearing, you know, stockings and stuff like that. And then I've done her up the wrong way when I closed her, because she's got her edging um, here, and she has a real lucky rabbit's foot. It's one of those things, um, obviously I'm vegan, I would never buy something like this new, but this is a vintage piece. It kind of creeps me out a little bit, but it's also something very, very special about the piece. So yeah, if this is a piece that interests you, she is up for grabs, because as I say, she doesn't fit me well enough to justify me hanging on to her. So pretty cool. I was pretty chuffed to find that. And again, I couldn't try her in the store, so I didn't know that she wasn't going to fit, but yeah, if you love her, make sure you send me a message, either email me or send me a message over on my Instagram shop if you're interested, because yeah, unfortunately I will be letting her go, but super, super beautiful. So that's it guys, that's the video. I know it was quite short and sweet, but I thought you might like a vintage haul, seeing as I haven't done one for a while and I know you always love them. Please don't claim any pieces down below in the comments because I won't, I either won't see it or you guys don't see my responses. So I prefer not to do that here. Please either email me or message me at on my, um, Instagram shop. But do let me know what you thought of the pieces. Uh, check out Patreon if you want to see how it is that I dated the pieces while I was out shopping. That video will be up very soon. Come and follow me on my Instagram if you want to see sneak peeks into vintage pieces that I get before they end up over here on YouTube because I tend to wear them in my stories and my photos long before they make it on into a YouTube video. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye!